takes an army of Imagineers to bring a project like this, like Toy Story Land, to life. There's so many different groups or studios of people that have to work together hand in hand to make this a success. Scaffolding comes down. We have project managers and construction managers who have to coordinate enormous teams to make all this happen on time and on budget. We have show set experts, lighting experts, graphics experts, all of these people coming to the table to make sure that these toys, when we blow them up to be larger than life, they actually still feel like toys. I like to think of our role as project managers as orchestrators. So we're responsible for making sure that the end product is the best that it can be. It meets the creative intent, but it also meets what the park needs, what the operations needs, what maintenance needs, and that all the details in between are coordinated as much as possible um, between the hundreds of people that are working on it. So when you think about it, we get to draw these beautiful colors and we're just talking about how to make toys real. But frankly, when I have to build plastic toys, wooden toys, and cardboard toys at the scale where you're a tiny little green army man in Andy's backyard or that size, it takes so many experts. I think that graphics tell a story because they really help ground you and where you are. Any visual is really going to do that for guests, especially at Toy Story Land. We blend that in the story. The story is what we always come back to to tell us Andy had all of these toys, so we're using all of things that Andy would actually have um, at, his, at his disposal to make signs, to make graphics, to do any of that. So my favorite graphic in the land is the Wheezy Box that we have in the Slinky Q line. Um, my favorite thing about it is it really does give you more information about where Wheezy came from, um, how long Andy's had them, and um, it's just a great graphic. <laughs> Working with so many amazing Imagineers is truly rewarding on a daily basis. Growing up, I was a Disney kid, so I watched the Disney Channel all the time. I was really inspired by the short Imagineer that, seeing what Imagineers got to do every day. Um, so I'm so thrilled to be able to be here and to be able to bring this to guests. So for us, it will all come to life. Lights and sound and music, everything makes this place sparkle, but it will only sparkle bright when we have those guests enjoying and playing in Annie's backyard, finally. Mm -hmm.